Hello and salut everybody. Question of the day is why and how should we let go? Welcome back to my channel, Next Quarantine Survival Gear. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, share this video, like, and also check out the rest of my videos. Thank you very much. So the question is why and how should we let go? I'm talking about letting go of our loved ones. I know this is very personal and sensitive topic. It's difficult to tell somebody to let go of somebody they hold dearly in their heart that they have lost. I know that. But I'm having this conversation because it's a very important one. My nephew, who's 26, has asked me to do this video because he's struggling to let go of his mother. And he's seen so many people around him struggling to do the same thing. And a lot of people have lost parents within hours, within days. They love their better half. They lost their kids. They lost so many in the same household this year. And I know the, the why should we let go? My why is because if we don't, we are living in a dark place. If we don't, we start hating God, questioning and hating others. We hating the opportunity to live. We losing hope to live. We losing hope for the future. We don't have a reason to wake up anymore. We are getting sick. We are getting stressed. We are getting depressed and it's not good. We are losing hope to live. We are refusing. When that happens, you're refusing to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You don't see it. And believe it or not, God kept us alive for a reason. We are alive for a reason. He has taken our families from us. But for whatever reason, he, he's keeping us alive for a reason. So we have to find that reason. And want to live for that reason. So instead of us neglecting the living, neglecting our lives, we, we honor our loved ones instead. So my how of letting go, because I've seen my own share of lost, both my parents, my younger sister, my brother, my nephew, my uncles, yes, I have been through my own struggle of letting go. And this how have really helped me and I know it will help you as well. So my how is accepting it as the will of God. Remember the famous prayer that says, God help me accept the things that I cannot change. Yes. Losing somebody already is something we cannot change. So we just want to ask God to help us accept it. To ask God to help us find a way to honor their memory differently instead. So that we can be worthy of the opportunity to live. So how do we do this? So if you lost somebody due to COVID, Practice social distancing. Do everything in your power to protect yourself and help everybody around you protect themselves so that they're not going through what you are going through. You help them, save them from going through the same thing that you are going through. If you lost somebody due to an accident, then drive safe going forward and help everybody around you drive safe. If you lost somebody due to an illness or disease, then live a healthier life. You know, get a regular checkup, exercise, eat right, and encourage and help everybody around you to do the same thing. When you do this, when you see it this way, when you practice this, I promise you, you will start looking forward to tomorrow. You will start looking forward to life. You start having a reason to live. This is the best way for you to honor your loved one's memory. This is the best way to tell God that, you know, you are accepting his will and you're doing whatever necessary to be worthy of this precious life that he has given you to live. So will you join me if you're going through a loss right now and you're struggling to let go? Will you join me? And accepting it as the will of God and find a way to honor your loved one instead and practice a heart of gratitude and look forward to life. 
Look forward to tomorrow so that you can smile more, so you can laugh more, so that you can live life for the living, so that you can have peace in your life. Will you do that? Will you? Will you join me in practicing this to see if you feel better? Will you? Please share this video if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. And also check out the rest of my videos. Thank you very much. And I pray for peace and blessings and safety in your life. Thank you very much for your support.